what's up guys welcome to the channel we're gonna be taking a look at bitcoin gold silver the dow jones definitely stick around for the whole video i got some areas that we need to watch Fifty six thousand is a key area if we break that we could be going down to around the 52 to 53 thousand dollar range also we're going to talk about the cup and handle people were talking about yesterday and i as if you watch the live stream you know i was saying that that wasn't a cup and handle it could possibly form one but it isn't as of right now but anyways let's get into it don't forget we have a free discord group in the description below the video definitely check it out if you haven't already it's a great community and it's totally free let's get into it Right, guys as always it's not financial advice trading advice nor is it investment advice always do your own due diligence and your own research before investing or trading in any markets but anyways don't forget we do a free ledger nano s hard wallet giveaway we do that every monday all you have to do to enter to win is make sure you scroll down subscribe to the channel tick that notification bell to get you notified when i post videos smash that thumbs up and i will pick a random comment from a random video throughout the week so make sure you leave a comment below and i know some of you had said you'd like to see some more uh litecoin and ethereum uh, charts on here so i maybe start making separate videos on that to try to keep the video short but let's take a look at where we're at now we're looking at the four hour and like i said i still think there's a good possibility that we come down to the forty-three to forty-four thousand dollar range, possibly lower, to retest this bottom of this rising broadening wedge. Um, that doesn't have to happen, but I I am looking towards that. Bitcoin does what it wants, not what I want. So, uh, but anyways, I do think it would make sense to come back down to this area. Now let's take a look at yesterday. If you watched the live stream. Um, we were watching this as bearish divergence, which it does seem to be playing out here. We had higher highs in the price action, lower highs in the RSI. That is bearish divergence. Although in the shorter, in the four hour here, we are creating some hidden bullish divergence. But let's take a look at what's going on. So we're looking at this as a possible inverse head and shoulders. And if that does play out, the target to that was around the 62,600 range. So that's still a possibility, although we are getting rejected at the all-time high here. Um, and the other way people were looking at this, let us they were calling this a cup and handle with this little tiny handle here yesterday that, that did not make any sense because of the size of the cup. If this was to form a cup and handle, there is another bullish way to look at it as this being the cup and we come up to the trend line, come all the way back down to that 53, 50, 53, 5400 area, which would be this trend line right here off of these wicks, which was also the inverse head and shoulder trend line. If that was to happen when we come up and then we break this, um, our, first, our first area to look for would be that 62.6. And then if we took a measured move of that cup, if it is a cup and handle, would get us up to approximately, let me move this down, approximately 72,000, somewhere in that range. Um, now the, the thing with that is we would be breaking the top of this rising broadening wedge. And if that was to happen and we gain support, again, guys, this is the bullish case. We'll take a look at all cases. But if we put a trend line here, uh, let's say we broke out in this area somewhere, but if we put a trend line there um, and we do end up breaking up out of this rising broadening wedge, we could be looking at a $90,000 Bitcoin. But until we break the top of that, we'll also take a look at some longer term charts. Uh, but let's say we break down the bottom here, uh, then we'd be looking for the $16,000, $17,000 Bitcoin. So it could go either way. There's no confirmation on exactly what's going on. It looks like as I'm making this, we did break the 5,600, so or 56,000. I do have a measured move of 52,000. As you can see, we broke this rising channel here. Uh, there's a good chance we're going to see this 52,000 to $53,000 range. Also, we could get a bounce here, 53, 54 off that 200 EMA on the hourly. So keep an eye on that, guys. It does look like 
we are headed towards that area i do expect a bounce there um looking at the rsi if we close down here break below this i don't know why these let me get that one off there as you can see i have this triangle drawn in here if we close down below here we have quite a bit further to go so 52 to 53,000 um look for that area for a bounce and again that would be aligning with this neckline here now if we break below this neckline then i think we could be headed back down to these ranges like i said uh 42 to 43,000 but keep an eye on this bottom trend line guys if that breaks it's going to get pretty ugly for bitcoin in my opinion um let's take a look at the dow dow yesterday made new all-time highs again although we're still making bearish divergence here lower lows or lower highs in the rsi higher highs in the price action it can't go on forever um gold as you guys know we had this target from november at 1736 and i said if that break i was expecting 1647 area and it broke and now the 1736 is resistance i do think we're still heading down to this range silver we broke back down out of the channel my target for silver is still 20 bucks uh dxy dxy like i said i am bullish in the longer term for over for about a year or so in the dollar and what, as we know when the dollar rises everything else falls we are getting rejected here at the 55 ema which we've been talking about we expected but i do expect to break above that once we break above that 92.5 range you get support our next area is the 94. like i said over the next year i am bullish on the dollar reason being if you look at these two fractals here guys uh, you can see last time we broke out of the falling wedge uh, right here it's the same in the macd same in the macd same in the rsi the fractals playing out even in the indicators so that's why i'm looking very bullish on it. if we look at the four hour if you guys were watching the live stream yesterday uh, let me get in here uh, we expected this bounce here that we're getting now we are turning back bullish again in the four hour uh plenty of room to go on the rsi so yeah all right this is the dollar overlaid on bitcoin every time the dollar bottoms on this trend line bitcoin is at or near its top I'm not saying it's topped for sure, but there's a good possibility. Every time Bitcoin bottoms, the dollar's top. So if the dollar does rise all the way back up here, this will be, once the dollar gets back up in this area, will be a good time to buy into Bitcoin. That could be next year, could be 2022, who knows? And this is the macro. If you look at the white arrows here on Bitcoin, that is when Bitcoin tops occurred. And if you look at the white arrows, they're in the same place. It's when the dollar bottoms occurred. Same thing here, the dollar tops in yellow, Bitcoin bottoms in yellow, line up pretty good. Now this is the, the longer term chart. We did get rejected at the 0.236. And we've been talking about this. If we zoom in here, if we do get a break above this trend line here and get support on it, then yes, we could come up to retest this uh, top one, which we've, topped out both in 13 and 17. And if we were to do that again, then you could be looking at that $200,000 Bitcoin, quarter million dollar Bitcoin, whatever. But until we break above this, and currently that's at that 62.5 range. And if we break above it, get support, then we could be looking for those over the next year or so. But otherwise, if we do just get rejected like this, uh, we could be having a major correction Coming down to the next fib on this would be around 35,000, uh, depending on how long it would take to get there. And then we got 20 and then so on and so forth. But make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll keep up on this stuff. And looking at the funding rate, funding rate is pretty high again, favoring the bears. And as you guys know, we're looking at this. If it's a possible bull flag here, we could be looking again around that 75,000. If we've topped here and this forms a head and shoulders uh, this is speculative but here would be the neckline that would get us down to around the nine thousand dollar range which is also at 85 about an 84 percent correction is which we got in 17 and uh, 19 we got a 73 percent correction something like that but if the case that's the bearish case here bullish case obviously looking at this as a bull flag but let's go to this 
is what we've been looking at as a possible fractal. We almost broke the all-time high. If we're not able to, we could still be forming what I've been talking about, guys, is the uh, triangle top here and coming down into that $8,800 to $9,000 range that we've talked about if this plays out as a fractal. But again, if we break the all-time high, this is invalidated. Uh, but as of right now, still a possibility. Um, we've talked about how tops are formed, and I'll go over that real quick. Uh, big wallets sell. They'll buy back, make a floor, get everybody bullish again. They'll sell, buy back, get everybody bullish again. And that creates triangles, and we've created it in 17. Here's the one in 19. And if, if this is the top, we could be doing the same thing again here. Again, I'm not saying it's the top, but something we need to take into you know consideration you got to look at both sides if you're extremely bullish at least take a look at the bearish case if you're extremely bearish you still got to look at the bullish case um, nobody knows for sure what's going to happen and if they're telling you they do you might want to watch someone else all right let's take a look at litecoin so litecoin we were expecting back to retest this golden pocket zone which we did um, if the 200 holds we could go as high as the 226 level up here I will put a target there. Bitcoin might be, or Litecoin might be due for one more push up here. At least test that 226 area. Um, if we cannot get back above the 211 and we break below 200, we'll most likely be coming back to test this bottom trend line again, 175 area. Uh, Ethereum. Ethereum is dropping back below the golden pocket zone we could be headed back towards the 1460 area if that breaks we could be looking around the uh, 1100 to even much lower possibly if you look at the rsi here we got plenty of room to drop uh be cautious be careful and um don't forget to check out my wife's webpage inkyourimage.com along with other affiliate links down there if you if you're looking to trade you want to get into trading i have some uh, links down below if you use the prime xbt link they do give you a 50 percent bonus if you use my savvy 50 promo code it'll get you 50 percent on top of whatever you deposit as a bonus savvy 25 will get you 25 percent off of your fees like i said there's plenty of affiliate links down there that'll get you uh they'll either give you bonuses or discounts but they're definitely worth checking out if you haven't already there's some hard wallet ones down there and again my wife's webpage. that link is also below inkyourimage.com Check it out. A lot of cool personal gifts on here. You can put whatever you want on this stuff, your own pictures, whatever. It's actually quality stuff. Um, you can check out. There's also a crypto section if you have a favorite crypto. It's not just what you see. If You can hit her up in her email, which is on that page, if you want a different project that she's not got listed or whatever. Anything you want. If you have any questions, hit her up. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like, leave your comment below, and I will see you tomorrow, possibly a live stream tonight, depending on what happens. But uh, thanks again for stopping by. Don't forget to click the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. That will get you subscribed. Have a great day, and I'm out.